Hey everyone, I'm going to do a video about this uh, EcoFlow Wave and uh, do some testing in a car today. Now, just a quick uh, thing before everyone starts uh, commenting and stuff, I recognize to make it work at its best, we should you know try to insulate the car as best we can, you know, put a sh shades in the window, insulation in the windows ideally, insulate the hoses, uh, there's a bunch of things that we can do to make this run more efficiently and better. However, I just want to test what comes in the box, a worst case scenario. You're in a car, don't have any shades, don't have, you know, insulated hoses, whatever. Can it make any kind of difference whatsoever in the vehicle? So that's what we're going to test uh, today. So excited to do that. A couple things to take note of here. 87 up here by the ceiling, the door is slightly open, so I have a little bit of breeze. We're going to close the door uh, for the testing. Everyone who wants to know, our outdoor ambient air temperature is 92. All right, so this is how I've got it vented. Um, using the window vent kit uh, that came with the Wave, uh, I've got the hot air that's going to be exhausting up. So try to get rid of that. And then this is uh, angled, um, you know, not in that same path. So hopefully we get as much cool air pulled in as possible. Obviously the window doesn't close all the way, so I've just draped a towel here uh, to provide a little shade and a little bit of uh, blockage through of air through this uh, crack. This would not be a permanent uh, setup, but uh, this is good for uh, my testing at least today. Uh, if you didn't see my last video, you saw that it uh, really didn't matter as far as temperature, uh, temperature of air that would come out if it was running off of DC power or AC power. So today I'm running on AC power, uh, just from an outlet. Um, obviously efficiency, you know, off-grid will be increased uh, by running on DC power using a power station. I'm going to bring the ambient uh, air temperature uh, sensor in and uh, we're going to uh, close the door um, so that uh, we're completely uh, enclosed here. This is a Honda Odyssey. Uh, minivan. Um, some people like to, to camp in them. I've uh, got uh, nothing in here besides uh, me and the EcoFlow. Uh, nothing is running at the moment. We're going to power this temperature sensor on and uh, we're going to actually stick it right here in the discharge air so we can see what kind of uh, discharge air temperature we're getting. And then we're going to be using this, and by the way, it's 87 uh, degrees right here where I'm sitting. If I raise it up uh, so that the temperature sensor is up closer to the ceiling, you can see we are 92, 96, 97. So toasty up here by my head. So anyway, let's just take a temperature reading before we get started. Uh, back in the back here. So back by the back window. Looks like in the 90s, high 80s. So let's turn the wave on. I'm getting hot and sweaty. And let's see what it can do. So here we go. And uh, we're going to go, looks like we're on fan mode at the moment. So we're going to oops, set it to cool, 60 degrees. We're going to put the fan up to high and we're going to go max mode. The wave is just starting, but uh, we're going to start a stopwatch as well. And we're just going to time uh, the period it uh, takes to, to cool this. Um, well, I doubt it's going to cool the whole thing, but uh, I just want to see, you know, after X number of minutes, you know, where is the temperature at? Have we gone down at all? Uh, have we gone up? Uh, Etc. So, anyway, just uh, spooling up still. Uh, at the moment, uh, we've got 53.4 degree air coming out of the supply. Uh, it's not too shabby. Um, we're going to let it run here for a few more minutes and uh, we'll be back with an update. Okay, we've been running for about uh, 12, 13 minutes. Um, our 
discharge air temperature 52.5 so doing pretty good uh, with this sitting just right here on the chair we are 78.80 up here let's go see what it is uh, towards the back back here by this window don't know if the light helps or makes it worse 79.2 so anyway certainly better I can feel the air back here uh, you can kind of see from the uh, you know it's just kind of right there in the middle blowing back so you know it's I'm not sweating anymore uh, so it's definitely doing something so let's give it a few more minutes here then the other thing we're going to test that some people have said is you actually get colder output air by lowering the fan speed so we're gonna knock it down from max to uh, medium and see if that makes uh, any difference in any way shape or form 20 almost 25 minutes running now and uh, let's just uh, do some checking here so at the moment 54.1 degree supply air uh, where this has been sitting um, 79.880 degrees right there we come down into the airflow itself that's something we haven't measured yet um, see in the airstream coming from the thing we've got 72 degree air and that's kind of where I'm sitting so anyway that uh, it, it works you know if you're sitting in the airflow it's very very comfortable and very cool and nice um, but uh, as soon as you leave the airflow that's when it starts to get hot so let's come back here the back of the car so 78 I'd say in these conditions the wave is maintaining the temperature but it is not um, you know cooling it by any means just for fun we come up here in front of the wave we've got the windshield and the, the hoses and everything you can see that uh, up here it's a nice toasty uh, <laughs> rising still 88 nearly 90 degrees up here still rising there we go 80 89 88 so right uh, right in there let's just see above the hoses this is probably why you should consider insulating the hoses let's just see what it is that looks to be about the same 88 uh, even slightly cooler so uh, probably because of the Sun being over here on this side so anyway, that's pretty cool. Just for fun. And I don't even think the light's going to make a difference. Um, not even sure if you can see this or not, but uh, it's blowing out 116, 117 degree exhaust air. So, 118. So it's, it's definitely moving some heat. Oh, it's probably why it's a good idea to insulate that hose uh, if possible because that is a lot of heat now we're up to 120 119 so that's a lot of heat uh, trying to discharge and that's radiating into your space so you want to try to keep that not radiating into your space so that's why insulating that could be a good idea so we've been running on turbo mode for over a half hour now discharging 
53.8 degree air. So what we're gonna do, uh, I've heard uh, from some people uh, that if you turn the fan down, uh, you can actually get colder air, less heat produced, and uh, as a result, may get more cooling power. I beg to differ. We'll see. You know, we've got uh, we've taken some measurements on uh, temperature and stuff while it's been running on max. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and put that to the test, though. So we're going to go ahead and bump the fi uh, fan speed down to medium. And uh, we'll go ahead and let that uh, run for a bit. What we're going to do here is we're going to do a lap. So that way we can see um, how long uh, we're running for in medium mode here. All right, I don't think uh, we need to say much more. Um, we've got it at just about six minutes into the medium airspeed test. Uh, our discharge air temperature has actually increased. Uh, we're at uh, nearly 55 degrees, 54.7. And uh, we've gone up like three degrees over here. Uh, we were like 78 uh, before on turbo. And uh, now we're nearly 81 over here. So anyway, that's uh, pretty interesting. Let's just see what it is uh, up up here turn this on so up here in the seat near the ceiling uh, still hot nearly 90 a little over that so we're definitely not getting as much airflow uh, we're definitely getting a lot of spill uh, up here by the ceiling from up in the front where it's really hot down here in the air stream where the uh, wave is actually blowing um you know before we were like 73 range you can see here we're a little bit warmer 75 and i think that's just because the airflow isn't as strong uh, we've actually gone up yet more we're now at 55 degree uh discharge air temperature and let's just come back in here. I can already tell just by feeling that it's hotter back here than when it was running on turbo mode. Yeah. See, we were 78-ish back in here and now we're up to like 82 degrees. So, uh, definitely warmer. So I'd say that, uh, that myth, at least on my particular unit, is not correct that uh, turning it down to medium fan speed um, you know makes the discharge air temperature cooler in my case it made it warmer and uh, overall the, the vehicle is heating up more so uh, max is max mode moves more air uh, the compressor speed increases which uh, results in more refrigerant flow which results in more uh, heat removal so Anyway, uh, let's turn it back up to turbo just really fast, see if it will actually bring the temperature down or if it is going to just uh, maintain now at this higher temperature that uh, we're currently at. So let's come up here and let's go to high fan max. We'll let that run for a second and see what uh, what happens. We're almost an hour into this test. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but uh, lap three there uh, has been running for nearly nine minutes. Uh, that's uh, the time it's been uh, back on max airflow. And uh, intriguing. Um, I'm I'm impressed. So non-insulated hoses, full sun, just a little towel covering the this window gap there but uh, everything wide open sun pouring in um, and uh, and check this out 81.6 down here so it's actually uh, brought the temperature down a half a degree from where it got to with it running on medium now let's just go to the back now here and uh, and just check Back here, 
Uh, this had uh, climbed quite a bit uh, during the medium fan test. And we're still hotter. Um, we're still in the 80 range, but not 82. So it's definitely been cooling it off slowly, but I would call it maintaining. Turbo speed, the 92, probably about 95 degrees out there now because uh, the day has progressed uh, even more. You know, you can probably maintain a temperature that's semi-comfortable in your space with the EcoFlow Wave on high with limited, with like nothing, just with what it comes in the box, with the tubes and something you throw in the window to, to seal that up and that's it. No shades, no nothing. All right, everyone. Well, that concludes the uh, test for today. Uh, you may consider getting some Mylar. You have to be parked out in the sun. Here's a picture uh, I'll throw up here on the screen of a gazebo style tent and if you notice on the top there it's got a very a reflective top. I made that cover for my tent and that reflects a ton of the solar radiation and uh, really makes the tent a lot cold, cooler inside because uh, I'm reflecting all that solar uh, heat radiation. Anyway, you could do the same thing with a car. If you put that across the top of your car, this particular miler that I have is thick enough. You could probably even stake it uh, down on, you know, on the ground to hold it and uh, went over the top of your car uh, and staked it on both sides. You know, that could probably keep it fairly sturdy uh, during wind or whatever. So that would just provide a huge decrease in uh, heat gain inside your car. Food for thought there. I'll leave a link down in the description to uh, that 100 foot roll of uh, very sturdy mylar, uh, you could test that out. And uh, let me know in the comments down below uh, if you want me to test that, because uh, I've got that very mylar. We could do a test there. Let me know if you want me to test uh, with the uh, pipes insulated to see what kind of difference that might make. And uh, let me know uh, what other tests uh, you may want me to do on this uh, EcoFlow Wave. Uh, test coming up is I'm going to try a bedroom scenario and see how, because that's very well insulated, how well does it uh, maintain a bedroom uh, temperature wise and uh, keep it cool. So uh, that's coming up soon. And let me know if you'd be interested in a couple of months here once it uh, shifts to winter mode here. Uh, if you want to see a heating demo in like a car situation like this. Anyway, let me know if you want to see that. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe uh, if you like these kinds of videos. And uh, we'll catch you next time.